Hello everybody, my name is Outlander. Now it's about time that I get y'all that update video on what I've been working on for this whole uh, second person concept test. So if you haven't watched my first video, watch that first. Link in the description. So, less talking, let's just jump right in. Give this a second to load. Alright, so, right off the bat, first things first, the whole uh, walking portion is still the same, for, or uh, is still uh, included in here. But uh, over here, someone in the comments, can't remember if I'm smart, I'm going to plop it on screen. But uh, someone in the comments of my other video brought up the concept of you... Uh, you play as a stalker watching someone through the house or something. Um, probably worded out wrong, but whatever. So over here I designed a little house thingy. It's just squares. So uh, walk on in. And things get weird because now the camera dude shifts to, uh, you know, staring at you through the window. And th this feels kind of weird, you know. But, you know, you still get to control you. And then like, oh, what happens when you go room? Oh, just be smart. Just change windows. Just like that. So I realized the way the current method for switching windows, you'll never choose the windows by the uh, corners because you'll always just choose the nearest path relative to the player. Let's go. There we go. So the whole system, it just chooses whichever window is closest to the player. Something wrong with the collision. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm, but uh, nothing too important. So yeah, now the whole little concept has been taken to an actual game application for the second person being you know your stalker in the window, watching you, watching your every move. So obviously this can be taken more advanced methods, but well, y'all y'all get the point. On to the next new thing. So let me head outside. Uh oh, there we go. Maybe yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So now we're back outside, and now the second person follows you around as normal. So there was. Or there has been another project I've been working on because some guy really liked my concept that I showed off of the second person. Uh, but during our development, we ended up coming up with a different um, input method. So now, when you walk, you walk relative to the camera. So forward is always forward relative to the camera. Right is always right and always left. And now you can actually walk backwards, but I, it's not recommended. So I am no AI expert, so all this whole thing is pretty much a hack job. Kind of. But it shows it shows off everything that it needs to. So on a classic, left and right, you just spin around in circles. And then W is how you move forward, but... Here it's all camera relative. So this is this would just be a little uh, preference in case people don't want you know to just spin around in circles all the time. So added that little option. Switch back because I like the whole quick turn. So there's all that. However, though, also in development of that other project, another concept came to mind. So now you can see my mouse here. So say I just want to, you know, click. I don't know what's wrong with the walking animation. This is not my problem. I'm no animation expert. It was. It still took a lot of effort to get it to work in general. So I don't know what the problem is. But the point is, you got this whole little point and click system. So now wherever you click, that's where you're going to move. Or that's where your first person is going to move to while the camera stays behind and it's still the second person. So, this is another good concept that it could use refining. However though, Unreal 
the AI will 100% of the time look wherever it's going, and it makes me mad because I don't want it to. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't feel natural. I'd like some sort of smooth transition. But the problem is you can't move and turn at the same time you got it. So that's a, that's a whole problem on Unreal's end. So whatever. And then just middle mouse click, go back to normal. And next thing is that's all that for, you know, second person stuff. The whole little house over there was a demonstration to prove the specific spots for the second person to move to for a game application. Another thing I've been thinking of is like if your first person was like down in a pit or something, the second person could only walk around the edge, if that makes sense. But the only problem is right now the camera does not look up and down. That's between AI problems and control rotation problems. So for now, I didn't feel like building a pit. So all of that's just for the second person. However, though, I've added this little extra mode, kind of. So if I just press tab right here, look, you got four different cameras. So you can see on the bottom right, the second person, that's the highlighted, that's the current selected camera. But say I just, you know, I want to press one. Let's hide that right quickly. Look, now I'm the first person. So we, so this is a more traditional style and whatnot. So yes, on here, the relative controls do still work. But uh, I, it, it's not the full standardized first person experience. However, though, point and click still does work. So if you know you want a first person or second person, or you know, how about third person point and click game? Sure, why not? That's that's all set up here. No, no walking animation for point and click though. So maybe one of these times I'll figure out the whole animation logic. So there's first person, second person, third person, and then not fourth. You press zero to go to third person omniscient. So here, yeah, you know, you could still walk around. You could see the second person being that little creep following you around. Or, you know, now you got full range. Because now you got a much wider field of view for point and click mode to be able to move all the way about. One thing to note, though, is that. Say, you know, you click here, and then you stop, and you try to walk around. The AI still going to want to move. And then once it's done, then you have free range. So if I click here, and then I try to walk somewhere else, the AI is still going to get there anyway. And then once he's there, then you could move around and whatnot. So, uh, so far, I believe that's... But I have so far, I've been look. I've looked back through the comments again, read all the good ideas. I haven't done anything with time travel yet. I'm not there. However, though, I found a plugin that was free on the marketplace. Um, I don't remember which month, but it had a whole time control thing. So I'm thinking now that this all this basic stuff, these more input methods and whatnot. Now that all this is still nice and added um i'll probably start working on something with time because time was another big topic within the comments that people brought up so i'll that's going to be next thing on the list so i believe that's all for now thank you all for watching bye